I ain't bullshit. Y'all bullshit. I'm not bullshit. I ain't afraid. Y'all talking about y'all banging on the cracker. Y'all ain't banging on shit. Faggot ass motherfuckers. Check this out. I was sentenced to 21 to 53 years. However, I'm not angry. The brother's still holding his composure. He's still holding his composure. Because I know that I am going to continue my study of law and win my appeals. Now, check this out. This brother said, he says, however, I'm not angry because I know I will continue and study law and win my appeals. The argument or facts you presented in your letter, I am familiar with. Hmm. Check this out. He said the arguments and the facts you presented in your letter, I am familiar with. Check this out. The argument and facts you stated in your letter, I am familiar with. However, I didn't learn this stuff until later on in the game. Had I known that they had lacked jurisdiction, subject, and personum from the beginning, I would have never hired a liar. Oops, lawyer. Then he went on to say this. Check this out. You know, it's funny because I used to debate with the Moors all the time about sovereignty. And now I come to find out that the Moors were right the whole time. We're going to rewind that. We're going to rewind that, y'all. We're going to rewind that. Check this out. It's sad that this brother got to be incarcerated. And, uh, so, but the, the Moors, they were a tremendous people. No question about it. There's a lot of things. They created the culture of, uh, of Europe. A lot of Europeans went to Spain to get educated mm -hmm. because the only place they had universities was in London. And their university came after uh, the Moors started in uh, uh, universities in, um, oh God, I can't remember these names, but it's right here in the book. I'm a Moor, some call me Saracen, some Muslim Europe had some dark age issues, I solved them Using more of science, I'm stating the obvious Rapper drone stepped up from Kush to Mali blunts Unawakened, unconscious Unaware Moors Won't accept the fact Plus he looked up black or more Moors the custodian of comedic Nubians Carrying the marvelous light The path Negroes to Nubians Saying I'm a Moor Not colored or black I'm a Moor Seti or Enki They can't change that Cause I know their hands Don't extend past Allah's wisdom I'm a Moor No doubt a contradiction Return to my own vine and fig tree Nationality of mind frame if you're with me Reclaim your ancestral mind and shout It's mine, and if you don't like it, get the Get out of here, man. I'm a moor Red fairs, black tass, elders of my class Not black or Indian. I repeat, I'm a moor Indigenous to the farthest west Say we were great, still they say we the best Hear what I say, I'm a moor Yes, it's true, if not for true, I leave Most of y'all would've still been asleep Now you can tell them I'm more Than you could ever wish you thought you would be Three centuries deep in more science I read Study, study, I'm a more Rope on a peg, stuck in the shore Oceanographic device anchored to sea floors I'm a more Goldfish of China and Japan Veil tail variety, brushing the cold water plants I'm a more Stretches of lands, jungles over sand blows Reptilian species and amphibians homes I'm a more Defending Drew Ali, that's my mission To put securely in place or desired position I'm a more Ancestral mindset, not thinking like the hybrids Can't hide from a ten, so they mess with the climate Mess with the minds Mess, Mess with the foods, get violent, violent about more subjugation. Your black leaders are quiet. Signed on to King Alfred, but they want you to riot. Pushing dogma as religion and want you to buy it. Most never 
do it, but they want you to try it. Too many have knowledge of self on the shelves and won't apply it. I'm a boy. Red fears, black tass, elders of my class, not black or Indian. I repeat, I'm a boy. Indigenous to the farthest west. Say we were great, and still they say we the best. Hear what I say, I'm a boy. Yes, it's true. If not for Drew Ali, most of y'all would have still been asleep. Now you could tell them I'm more than you could ever wish you thought you would be. Three centuries deep and more of science I read. Study, study, I'm a boy. Right? This is West Africa. This is Senegal, right? Mm -hmm. See what it says where the women and the men and women wore more shoes. This is in West Africa. Mm -hmm. So it's the it's the Senegal, Guinea, Ghana, mm -hmm. all the whole been, area. It still were more. Still that's, right. And that's why I said cats don't read other books. No, no, it's not that they don't. They know that see, this is <clears throat> sis. Yeah. You know what I recognize? This is what I recognize. And 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 when I say a lot of times when we're talking and you say they don't know or they don't understand or you say I don't understand how they can take position and I tell you, you do understand. And what I'm really saying is by now you should have shed all your naivety and stop thinking that these scholars don't know. They're co-intel pro-operatives or they're bought off. It's that simple. It is, it is not unlike, honestly, you know, like, like say if you have, uh, 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 say, a bunch of elementary school children and you're having these kind of conversations with them and lacking certain exposure and because they're young, that excuse goes. People who are socially involved, who go around lecturing, claim to be doctors and scholars yeah. and stuff, fucking with people and taking their finances <laughs> and shit, and you start saying they don't know, no, you're wrong for even saying that. It is, it is not unlike, not unlike this. Um, now, they also know that that 501c3 is a skull and bones agreement. It was a kickback for them to keep, not to rock the boat. Yeah. It was set up by Lyndon Baines Johnson to control marching Negro leader guys. This is, this is, we ain't talking about deep scholarship. We're talking shallow scholarship. Exactly. Don't even look for it by it's default. Right. It's there. Now, when we keep saying, you know, because, because sometimes the opposition is so unreasonable, you know, illogically unreasonable, and so unjust, we have a tendency to forgive them by saying, oh, they're crazy, or they don't understand. No, you're, you don't understand. You don't get it yet. Every once in a while, Europeans will say to us this, when they get tired of our bullshit, marching and praying and creating a bunch of confusion, when we get frustrated, then they'll stop, take a deep breath and say, why don't you all leave us alone? Why don't you go deal with your black leaders who keep selling you all back into slavery? Exactly. How about that? How well, about that? One told me that. No, but I'm just saying, but they're telling the absolute truth. But in the first thing our people say, oh, they're racist. They don't want the black man. And they start that stuff. <laughs> I'm serious. And then we make excuses for them. They don't understand. Yes, the hell they do. We keep making excuses for we keep making excuses for people because they're Asiatic and Africans as if they ain't sellouts, overseers, co-intel pro-operatives, because we don't expect that from them. And because they be out there in the venue. You know and I know, what, 94, 95, 93, 94, 95? Me and Hannibal went up there and nationalized. I'm saying to you, I don't knock them. Let them do what they do. You know what I mean? I don't even battle with them. I just keep it moving and keep taking it to the people and, and, and knowing that as the people get this information, they themselves 
some of them same people that's been playing them and dragging their lives out when this stuff could have been solved are going to be hanged from these damn trees including a lot of them reverence do you understand what I'm saying to you? Yeah. now when you to keep yourself in check every once in a while just pull up the synopsis of pro and tell pro operations to remind yourself to stop being naive and stop making excuses for these Negro leaders because they're not they're, it, it's almost like it's almost like um, the freaky gym teacher that keeps caressing your little girl's buns at the gym class and you're saying he doesn't understand what he's doing when <laughs> no I'm just saying this is this is what we keep doing rather yeah. than taking him and changing or rearranging his head yeah. Do you want to, you know, like, like he's Asiatic, oh, maybe he didn't really mean it because he ain't European or something. Do you, I mean, it's like, stop making excuses for these people. in Harlem with Reggie now. You know, he came, he said, he said, I want, you know, brothers to get together and stuff, man, and see, because everybody talking about Reggie and stuff like that, you know, being a professor and stuff like that when he was coming at you in New York, you know, justifying it. I said, I'm not offended about any of this stuff. I'm thick skin. You know what I mean? Because I ain't in it for ego. I'm in it for a whole different game. You know, I'm looking head and back. You know what I mean? I'm I'm looking at the next generation. I ain't even, you know, they can't do, I can't be bored. Simple. Anyway, so I said to him, I said, now look, let's stop the bull. Any scholar knows, and this is basic scholar stuff, so you already know, all right, is it not a rule, a basic rule, that anybody that gets any kind of serious degree must learn basic etymology, basic grammar, basic grammar, because that's yeah. third grade stuff, yeah. eight parts of speech, huh? Well, you're yes, transferring language from another language. Looking in a basic dictionary and it has the has the italics right after the word that shows you it's part of speech. Then it has the brackets, which is the etymology. Then it has an appendix where you can go trace words. I mean, basic scholars do that. Writers do that. Now, if you're talking to some little grade schooler or something like that, you know, elementary school, and they're not sharp on this stuff because they've been under you know under control you can excuse them I, you know set the gallery down. Thano doing a, 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 a filming and stuff like this right and and then he we're trying to rationalize he doesn't know anything about films or digital stuff exactly but yet he's going and, and it's the same thing when we keep on making excuses for these so-called black scholars and professors that's been in the circuit that's been studying any kind of books, you know, and a lot of them try to use Dr. Ben. When Dr. Ben even did film, said he didn't even get his, uh, he didn't even complete his education until he went to the Moorish universities in Spain. Yep. You and know, he, and then and they Dr. try to. Ben was Ethiopian. Yeah, yeah. And, then, and then they try to say, oh, he's a black man, what you trying to say, yep. that he is lying. And, the, and, and, and you see most of the masses sitting around there they got biased opinions because they're following him. And they, and, they, and they play into this argument. A scholar doesn't even entertain that because the scholar knows it's bullshit. But, it, you know, it, it, our, our miseducation in fundamentals is so deep and so ingrained that it, it, it's amazing that our people haven't woken up and stopped being sensitive as to why a lot of people from other jurisdictions don't like black people.